Hello there, hello. Welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. This is the second of the three videos we're making to update you on how we're getting on with the performance of the cutest. And as you'll see by the title, we're getting the cutest to sound like the Dave. And a lot of people won't believe that I've done it. And <laughs> well, I suppose I don't either. And let me just quickly straighten that out before people get you know the wrong impression. I've had the Dave here, not with this system, obviously, but I've had it here before, only for a couple of days, and it had to go back. Not long enough, really, to get a full, you know, you know, full profile of what it's all about. I didn't get any time to tweak it or anything like that, but it was hugely impressive. And where it was impressive was kind of grandness and scale of sound and the space you get between elements in the sound stage. And had somebody said to me, you know, Terry, hey, get on the cutest. How does it compare against the Dave? I would have said space. You know, it's not got nothing like the sound stage space and the big scale sound that you get from the Dave. Uh, that that is all I really could have said because you know I, I didn't have the day for long enough, and the cutest just it, yeah we, we can't expect Dave performance for one fifth one sixth of the money you just can't expect it but you know as close as you can get phew, happy days you know we'll take that so what what's actually gone on in the system now if you've watched the other video I'm sorry about this maybe skip past this bit because I'm going to explain the same thing again but maybe a little bit clearer if you didn't understand it what I basically did listening to the Luxman. I worked out that if we click, if we enable a setting called line straight, it disables the tone controls. Now it's no surprise really that that makes a, a you know a change to the sound quality. It actually made a big change to the sound quality. If someone were to ask me what was the you know to critique this, the sound we was getting before, especially with the uh, Chris Jones song, I'd have said it's yeah, big and bold and everything, which is great, but it's quite chesty. It's quite congested sounding, and we're lacking some clarity. And we're lacking some sound stage. Now enabling line straight. Big time improved that. All of a sudden, you know, that kind of chestiness was gone. We was left with kind of extreme clarity to a, to a point. Uh, but we was missing missing some of the fullness of the sound, but it was much improved clarity. It's like, well, that's, that's definitely better. No, you know, no way about it. And then, obviously, I got measuring the speakers and stuff because I remember, you know, visiting Kef last year and Dr. Jack Oakley Brown making a big thing about you must get your speakers really tightly, really tight distances in terms of where they are, how far apart they are, distances and stuff, like down to like half a centimetre, which is a tiny amount of, you know, variation. So I measured and actually the speakers were, this speaker was a quarter of an inch in front of this one and the towing was ever so slightly more aggressive on this speaker. So the back of that speaker kicked round about, I don't know, about an inch, which sounds like a lot. It's, it's not really, it hardly makes that much difference. But what that's done is open the sound stage up and give the mid-range actually more realism and more clarity. Again, it's time alignment, isn't it? So the speakers are more in time. So that was a lovely, lovely improvement. Now, <laughs> I was really enjoying it, really enjoying listening to it. I had a set of isolators that were just sitting down there doing nothing. And I thought I'd give them a try under the cutest just to try it out, just to see if it made any difference. And that was like unlocking the key to... A, a Dave like sound, and what I mean by Dave like sound is all of a sudden the sound has much grander scale, much bigger space within the sound stage. Things are more delineated or delineated, whatever that word would be, kind of in the room back to the speakers and beyond and stuff. And <laughs> it's got me absolutely buzzing with, with, with actually doing that with the sound quality. Now, the most difficult thing is to try and demonstrate that to people. People want me to do a recording of take that off them and put them back on. The, the problem with doing that is I'm a bit of an audiophile. Now I've got that sounding like this, I really don't want to touch it. So that's going to stay there now like that until I have to touch it for whatever reason. It's like, it's sounding so great, I'm conscious I might not get it back as good again. So yeah, I can't, I'm just going to leave it there for now. But what I'm doing is a couple of songs, hopefully you've already seen the first one. This is the second one, just to try and demonstrate the improvement that, that's made and give you now some idea of what we're all about with the system and you know and, and what it's all about now I still haven't run direct live we're still using a, you know correction from before the speakers are not spiked either and deliberately because I wanted to move them around a little bit I've only got so much movement as you can see you know, I wanted to be able to move them around a little bit to try and get them more you know in a, in a slightly better position and a quarter of an inch and an inch you know inches all make a difference don't they as we know has made a big difference but it's this it's the isolators that's really made the difference. And people won't believe me, but you know, I'm telling you now it is. And funny enough, I mentioned this in the last video. I watched a video yesterday of Rob Watts giving like a lecture. It's at a hi-fi show, so it's not really a lecture, but it was lecture in, in, in its fashion. And he talks about what they're testing, they're called electronics testing of DAX and why Dave came about. And Dave came about because Rob Watts realized that you can hear changes in sound at lower and lower and lower decibels of noise and Dave is some, something stupid in terms of its low noise and he mentions things like 
uh, intermodulation noise and stuff and, and power cables being able to help with that and stuff with different products. And, you know, maybe there's vibration causing noise in there and taking the vibration out has helped. That That is the only thing I can think of. But either way, you know, to me, this has made it more Dave-esque in its sound. So enough talk, because talk is cheap. Let me show you. Felicidade se acha em horinhas de descuido. Meu cigarro de palha, meu cavalo ligeiro, minha rede de malha, meu cachorro triqueiro, meu cigarro de palha, meu cavalo ligeiro, minha rede de malha. Meu cachorro trigueiro Quando a manhã vem clareando Deixo a rede a balançar No meu cavalo vou montando Deixo o cão pra vigiar Sendo um cigarro vez em quando Pra me esquecer de me lembrar só me falta uma bonita morena Pra mais nada me faltar Que só me falta uma bonita morena Pra mais nada me faltar Vai, boiadeiro, que a noite já vem Guarda o teu gado e vai pra junto do teu bem Quando sigo pela estrada Minha boiada pra invernada vou levar São dez cabeças, muito pouco, quase nada Mas não tem outras mais bonitas no lugar Vai, boiadeiro, que o dia já vem Leva o teu gado e vai pensando no teu bem De tardezinha quando eu venho pela estrada A filharada tá todinha me esperar São dez filhinhos, muito pouco, quase nada Mas não tem outros mais bonitos no lugar Vai, boiadeiro, que a tarde já vem Leva o teu gado e vai pensando no teu bem Chego na cancela da morada Minha rosinha vem correndo me abraçar É pequenina, é miudinha, é quase nada Mas não tem outra mais bonita no lugar Ai, boiadeiro, que a tarde já vem Leva o teu gado e vai pra junto do teu bem got to come forward well what did you think let me know down in the comment section obviously i didn't use that song before but i've used this song a lot because it, you know it's a great sounding song a big vocal and stuff so yeah the, the, the isolation products they're from a company called uh plinth design they're called sera discs they come with just a single bearing i've pimped them up by using kind of three bearings per four they're not really designed like that but you know that's just me testing and playing around with them and stuff so they're great, and what's great about them is they don't cost the earth. I mean, other great products like Steel Points, for example, they're absolutely brilliant, but they are expensive. Whereas, obviously, these these are much cheaper, uh, and still very, you know, very very good. It'd be great to do a comparison, Steel Points versus those, and maybe I'll do that in the future. But either way, they work, and they're brilliant, and and I say they're really good value for money. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled with how we're getting on with the sound, how we're getting on the sound of the cutest, you know, we're still only running it off of uh, an anchor battery pack, the linear power supply we've all, we've got coming, 
Uh, really looking forward to trying that. I think that's going to be a you know the next level of game changer. But that's not coming till kind of probably the end of next week. Then there's the Bristol show, so it might be a while before I can get back with more details and more reviews. So I'm just I'm just keeping you posted. Really, I wasn't planning to, but I'm just so thrilled with the progress we're making. So thrilled with the sound of this, and um, this thing's amazing. That's just it's incredible. It's just got such a lovely sound. It's just you know. <sighs> You should most supposed to save all this sort of stuff for reviews, but I'm going to stick my neck on the line and say this is the best sound I've had in this room uh, so far, and I've had some seriously good products come through. And you know, it's got to be a combination of everything. But this is just you know, if there's combinations, if combinations exist, this this is obviously a really lovely one. What why reason why I say that is because we've got lovely clarity and we've got lovely uh, you know good definition and soundstage and stuff, but. Music's got character, music's got life and energy and soul to it. And some kit you have, which is brilliant for clarity and resolution and stuff like that. But when you listen to something like this, it just gives music some soul. And that's really addictive and it's really lovely to listen to. And you know, there's massive variation between one style of music and another style of music. It sounds completely different. And that's something you'll know if you put... Um, it's a big change I think you notice when you have a lot of good acoustic treatment in your room something like all oh, this kit there's a lot of treatment in this room from GRK Acoustics music doesn't all sound the same it doesn't all sound like it was made the same made in the same space it's actually the opposite you get big variation between I mean go back and listen to the videos I've posted already listen to the Michael Jackson song compared to the Chris Jones song they just sound like completely different albums they sound like they're made in completely different places now sometimes you know, certain room acoustics, they rob you of that and everything can sound like it's made in the same place with, you know, sometimes even the same bloody singers and stuff. So that's just something to bear in mind. I know not everybody can get away with putting them in their room, but if you can get away with putting some in there, some especially some of their new impression ones where they look really lovely with the wooden fronts or the art type panels, you will be rewarded with big sound improvement, 100%. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just keeping you posted. I wasn't planning on it. but just keeping you posted how we're getting on. We're getting on really well. You know, this is this is outstanding sound. Uh, you know, maybe some extremists wouldn't get on with it, but I, I think 99.9% .9 of people would really appreciate the sound quality in here. And, uh, you know, I am the biggest uh, fussy freak of sound quality, and this is this is some of the best that I've heard in this room especially, but it's up there, you know, it's really good sound. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Visit the website, please. Keep doing that. I really need to grow the website because that's really going to sort of back, you know, take the channel to the next level. Uh, make, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We've got, obviously, loads of content coming. I've got some different reviews coming. The Bristol Show, there's going to be a you know, ridiculous amount of content, I feel, from that. And we'll see you soon. I hope you're enjoying what we're doing. Take care.